Hi, this is part 8 of our tutorial video. In part 7, we talked about how to write checks and how to enter various expenses using this write check form. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to enter vendor bills right here, enter bills, and how to pay those bills. So what is uh, enter bills? So enter bills, as they define it here, is entering outstanding bills from vendors so in business you get the uh, terms so you buy uh, certain supplies from a vendor and they give you terms like hey, well you can uh, pay this bill in 30 days uh, so this is where you enter it so you want to enter the transaction and pay it later so that's the uh, that's why you will use this enter bill so you entered here and this is enter bill so that it will show up uh, in uh, in your in QuickBooks and your transactions are up to date and the vendor payable is also up to date. So when you enter bills, it will create accounts payable. So this is where the accounts payable comes in. When you enter write check, there's no accounts payable. It's basically banking transactions. So the moment you write check money comes out from your bank account so there's no accounts payable involved in here so in here when you enter bills you have accounts payable in uh, uh, comes in and at that point there is no accounts payable there's no bank account bank uh, withdrawal yet only accounts payable so there's no banking transaction at that time just creating accounts payable and the other side is entering uh, to uh, expense account or entering to inventory all right so let's get started here is the intro bill screen let's click this one so the screen looks uh, very similar to other screen uh, but this is this is where you enter build and as you can see here it says bill and credit so what's the difference so intro bill is you're entering bills that you get from your vendor or supplier and the credit is when they give you some credit for returning items or they just give you uh, credit for uh, some discount so this is where you enter credit the screen looks exactly the same we'll just say credit in here we'll just say bill so bill is by definition your entering expenses the credit is basically reducing your liability bill is creating your liability to your vendors all right so so basically the, all you have to do is select your vendor that, that's the first thing you want to do so create vendor right here let's just pick first one here so create your vendor here and address is already there so the way you enter address is from the vendor center and your address is right here so this is your uh, vendor screen so this is where you enter all the address payment settings and tax setting if it is a 1099 type of contract independent contract so this is where you put in your uh, social security number or uh, or uh, or the tax ID number and account setting is so if you have a supplier that you use a lot and it goes to the same account general ledger account so this user selected here user select this account and when you open the bill it will uh, pop out selecting uh, this account so you don't have to type it again so they gave you three uh, accounts pre-fill accounts that you can uh, select so let's say uh, in this in this uh, example, let's say you want to use job materials, and all you have to do is select this account and pre-fill it to the customer screen, customer uh, vendor screen. So just go in here and click in here, and just select the account setting. So the one you want is. 5400 let's say this job material like this and let's say you have another 
account number you use a lot from this vendor so it has to be uh, uh, the cost of goods sold or expense item normally when you enter it you don't enter it to income so enter income that comes from when you invoice it mm -hmm. so when you enter bills always either cost of goods sold or expense or could be uh, some balance it accounts so normally you won't enter it to income account so let's say another one here equipment rental mm -hmm. save and close all right so now you go to uh, enter bill screen here let's close this again so let's enter bill and select the same vendor the first one here as you can see here it will list those two accounts we just selected so now you don't have to type those accounts all right so the reference number of the first thing is the date the this is the uh the way the, the the day you enter it so it could be when you received your invoice so let's say you receive invoice dated uh uh 12 15 9 2019 this is not the day you enter it this is when the vendor said invoice date is this because when they give you term it's based on their invoice date not when you received it or not when you try to enter the bill so this date is basically comes out from your vendor invoice bill okay so the difference number is the uh, the vendor invoice number let's say when you look at the invoice you'll say one two three four five whatever the number is that's where you put in and let's say the vendor vendor said well we'll give you 30 days time so you just select net 30 so as you can see here it's uh, due in 30 days so this due date should match with uh, whatever uh, vendor is saying if this vendor uh, saying different date so that means your net term is wrong or your invoice date is wrong so you need to verify those so they expect the payment from you on this day or before that day all right so now we got the uh, job expense so this is any you can choose any other expense account you want but this is pre-filled so let's just put five hundred dollars here so let's say the this is the uh, vendor bill you got five hundred dollars as you can see here you have five hundred dollars here and so you have another line here so when you put in now let's say two hundred dollars so the invoice amount is seven hundred dollars and you are splitting here this is this is what you call split so it's split to two different accounts so the invoice is seven hundred dollars and you have five hundred two hundred all right what happens if you put eight hundred dollars here let's say this is in eight hundred dollars the invoice amount so as you can see here you still have to allocate this hundred dollars either here or here or different account let's just say different account here so now it it does match but if it's twenty seven hundred dollars, you don't even let's say you want to delete this one for a moment. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say try to save it. See what happens. See, it tells you where the split is seven hundred dollars, but the invoice amount is eight hundred dollars. So in this case, if the invoice amount is seven hundred dollars, and here is seven dollars, you can you can change this seven hundred dollars. 700 or just recalculate here recalculate button here. recalculate is $700 and if it's actually $800 you just need to make sure this the uh, distribution is accurate let's say this is for $300 so this is how you have to do it so save and new so 
now it's the uh, you saved it so if you go to uh, vendor center see here's eight hundred dollars so here is your bill here it will say accounts payable right here accounts payable and it's eight hundred dollars so this is where you see the vendor record this is vendor center all you have to do is go here and select vendor center and this is your vendor record vendor vendor information right here and this is the bill still due right here so you can run a quick report from here view as a report a quick report from here like this see here's your accounts payable split it says because you have distributed two two different accounts accounts payable still here eight hundred dollars and you'll show up on your AR raising as well so if you want to see AR raising go to reports and we'll say vendors and payables so vendors and payables these are reports select vendors and payables mm -hmm. so AP raising so it'll tell you right here it's the current one and it's due in one month all right so now let's go back and pay that bill now so in order to pay that bill you just go in here so you're ready to pay that bill by check you just click this one and it's right here eight hundred dollars this all you have to do is check this one and it's saying due date is 114 2020 and normally if you want to make this payment on time maybe you want to pay issue this check a one week ahead let's just say you want to you want to issue this check on let's say one seven right here so there's enough time in one week mail the check go get it and go on time so as you can see here, it will, it will give you eight hundred dollars right here, and and the you writing check right here, not credit card or anything, just check, and then you give you twice. So if we, if you print printing a uh, bad checks, it will just say to be printed right here, and if you just want to sign check, you can just sign from here, and make sure the account is the correct one. This is the bank account. It takes out money from your bank account. Here's your checking account right here. Or if you if it's other account, make sure you select the right account. And let's say you want to pay this bill, and we're gonna sign check number on next next screen. Right here. So all you have to do is you're just printing one check. Just put that in computer. It's a computer check. Just write uh, check number here one five six zero. So let's say this is your check number. So right here, just write check number and say okay. It's done. We we'll ask you, do you want to pay more? If not, then say done. So it's basically you enter the bills, pay the bills. Now let's look at the uh, your uh, APA thing. So it's in here, so if you refresh it, this will be gone. Because the uh, date is not accurate, so you just have to select uh, uh, 2020. This is when we paid it, so just say 15. Now it's gone. So the transaction is complete, and let's go back to Vendor Center and see how is that working? So right here, it's eight hundred dollars, and uh, this is this fiscal year. So we're going to select uh, next fiscal year or all. We'll just select all. This happens to be uh, next fiscal year here. As you can see here, to or do you enter the bill on twelve fifteen, and you wrote a check. Period check on one seven, one here, and one here. 
so it's done eight hundred dollars there's accounts payable and eight hundred dollars from checking all right so this is the amount you should see in your bank statement as well so it's your check right here so it's to see coming out from your bank account so if you look at your uh, bank account you should see that money coming out this is the account we're using and the date is let's change this date to next month let's just say press it and come down see right here eight hundred dollars is coming out from your bank account and there's all kinds of uh, uh, other information as well uh, so basically money's out you pay the bill and transaction is it's all done in this case so it's basically you enter the bills and give some time and pay the bills right here it's basically it's very basic stuff so that's about it on uh, entering bills and pay bills and we'll have more uh, videos uh, relating to some other stuff here so just watch our uh, uh, channel thank you for watching bye